Virgos. This is going to be a reading for Virgos singles, actually. Not dealing with anyone, but willing to go out and meet and, and date possibly, but don't have anyone in particular that you're thinking about, okay? So we're going to see what your options are, Virgo singles, from November 9th through the 16th. Okay, in the pre-shuffle, I saw the Magician as well as the um, Emperor. Magician's you, making it happen. Have, using all the elements, earth, fire, water, air, you know, to, to do what you need to do and, and receive what you deserve, okay? King of Pentacles there. Probably dealing with either Taurus or an Aries. Somebody on that... Um, on the cusp, like that energy, fiery, earthy. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo singles. What are their, uh, not Leo. Wow, I just did Leo. But you, you probably deal with the Leo, could po possibly be. Okay, and that emperor mode. Virgo singles. Let's see what your options are. Virgo singles in love for November 9th. Through the 16th. All right, here we go, guys. High Priestess, Pisces energy. Page of Wands. Pisces, Aries. I feel like somebody that's very, um, very intuitive. I feel like very spiritual here not necessarily somebody that that is like religious but spiritual like connects with the universe and you know observe like the energies and you know feel the different energies here i feel like something that they have just really discovered like they haven't always been you know really observant they probably were always intuitive but um they probably didn't listen to their intuition a whole lot, but this is somebody that has just really come into um, knowing themselves. Knowing themselves here. Temperance, Sagittarius, Hierophant, Taurus. This is somebody that's very, very balanced. Um, again, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, this is somebody that is knowing, spiritual, somebody that's probably also teaching what they know, I feel like here. Somebody here is probably, you know, once was really looking to marry and not saying that they're not looking to marry now, but they're more involved in getting to know themselves um, versus concentrating on getting married, concentrating on like linking themselves with somebody, I feel like. Their balance is learning. Learning and knowing what, what it is they need to know in this life, I feel like. That's exactly what I feel. This is somebody from your past. Quite possibly somebody you grew up with, maybe even dated before when you were younger. Past life relationship. This is also someone that when they think about the past, they have good and bad thoughts here. I feel like, you know, if you guys had a relationship before, like before, you know, recently when you guys separated, like before when you were younger, I feel like they focus on those memories and also the memories of this current time when things were good between you, okay? But also... They go back and forth between the good memories and the bad memories because, you know, this this connection, whatever happened, um, kind of keeps them up at night, I feel like here. And I don't, you know, for some of you, 
this person may not necessarily be up at night not for thinking about the connection but there's something that's connecting you during the night maybe dreams I feel like you guys your energy is probably like crossing like crossing over and connecting some kind of way like this person I feel like 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 you guys are almost in sync like if one of you usually gets up at a certain time that person probably wakes up at that time something like that very connected I, I feel like you guys are very very connected because this hanging man is a Pisces card somebody's stuck here somebody's stuck here but I feel like this person Pisces as well, Pisces, Aries, energy, I feel. Um, we also have Scorpio here, Libra. But this person is like, they're not stuck. They are just taking taking in everything, like I said before. Like they, they haven't always um, welcomed this spirituality welcome the energy from the universe welcome um connecting with the energy and so they've come to a period in their life where they are taking all of this in and trying to trying to sort things out basically but i feel like while they're trying to sort things out i feel like you're being drawn to this person and I see marriage here for some of you. I see marriage here for some of you. Because there, there is, um, karma is being balanced out in this situation. And if it's not, the two of you, this person, because just as card with the Hierophant, with the Six of Cups here, that to me is like the joining, like union, marriage. For me, not for all of you, but for, I would say, I would say at least 10% of you, actually. Five to 10% of you, I would say. And that's what's gonna be just in this situation, okay? Just looking at your cards, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana in your reading with just eight cards here that's a lot of energy going on around you guys trying to make something happen here okay so if you have somebody in your life that is pisces aries scorpio energy taurus energy um then you know i would take a second look Take a second look because this person right here, this person is is a changed person. This is a this this is a good person. The only card here that's not that good is the Nine of Swords, but I feel like the Nine of Swords is here because there's something there's something going on between the two of you that you probably both don't even realize with this connection. Okay, so so Virgo, I want to say Leo again. Leo's strong here. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so that's what I have for you for November 9th through the 16th as far as your options are concerned. This is a good person. I'll be speaking to you soon, Virgo.